Well, this is our uh, latest uh, Orbitrap uh, mass spectrometer, uh, which consists of an outer barrel-like electrode um, and a coaxial spindle-like electrode that traps ions in an orbital motion around the spindle. The image uh, current from the trapped ions is detected and converted to a mass spectrum using the Fourier transfer of the frequency signal. All the commercial Orbitrap mass spectrometers used a curved linear trap for ion injection called the C-trap. So what I'm going to show you today is uh, using this instrument in the MSMS mode to analyse a propyravine at 0.15 part per million, uh, as in the MSMS mode. Um, the instrument, the thermo-exactive Orbitrap, it uses the very uh, user-friendly Excalibur software and I'm going to kick the uh, uh, system off now um, to show you how, how the whole thing works and give you some idea. And we're going to run this sample here. Okay. So the, the, the whole system comes with uh, effectively a uh, thermo uh, scientific auto sample, which is effectively a power, and we've got the uh, We've got the power uh, controller there to set the, the whole thing up. Uh, this system actually has the cooling chambers as well for your samples. And it's going to take a 10 microliter injection, the 0.15 parts per million for paraben. And all this you can all set up, although this system is pre-set up uh, for you. And we have all the expertise to uh, program the panels. Now doing the injection. Injection. There's, it has the acceler pump here. It's a very uh, at 0.4 mils per minute. And but there it is. There going into the cod, into the probe, and that goes into the orbiter. So the system's now running. And the top two uh, top two screens are relevant here. Um, this is this is the masses we're looking for and this is the uh, the uh, TIC ion trace. That's for an analogue signal if you, for example, had a UV on there. But what we're looking for is the actual uh, molecular weight of pyrrolene is 339.2. We're looking for the MH plus 340.2. But because I'm moving into the MSMS, we want to produce the daughter ions and, and get the transitions. And from my own experimentation from the tune page, which I'll show you later, uh, the transitions are 340 to the 324 and 340 to the 202. And uh, the peak you'll see runs about 1.7 minutes. So I got some indication here perhaps there may be a salt form, because momentarily there you think, oh, is that the peak? But it's not. Uh, because you'll see in a minute, and I can show the mass as they appear. So here we go here. So there's the 340. Oh, so there it is there. So there's the salt forming there. And here we are. Now the main peak here now. There's the two transition 340 to the 324, 340 to the 202. And what you could say, I've not got the uh, voltage to the, um, uh, to the collision cell correctly. Not quite correct, because really you want to see next to nothing of the uh, 340 peak, and you want to obviously concentrate more on the transitions, uh, 324 and 202. So that's running now. I can show you one of the uh, data uh, from previous. So it's the previous data, and you just double left click on here, and you'll see again there's the transition. 340 to 324 and the 340 to 202. Now, what is good about this is that um, the, the if we go back to the main the main page, the real time plot, you can see that I've generated nearly one e to the seven uh, sensitivity for 0.15. So you can at least go down another hundred fold even possibly a thousand fold sensitivity on a 0.15 uh, uh, ppm. So, uh, as I said, it's a very, very good instrument. Uh, the other thing you can do with it um, is that it's got its own automatic tuning. So I've tuned it. So you can see that I've tuned it on the MH Plus, or the Preparavine. 
And you've also got the uh, instrument control, which shows you all the parameters you obviously optimise when you calibrate it. And it has also the internal calibration routine as well, uh, where you use the, um, the thermo calibration standard, which is caffeine, MRFA, and Ultramark uh, uh, 1621, which is a poly polyethylene glycol type. Uh,